If you wanted to fret an instrument here, this neck right here is a wooden neck of an instrument known as a ukulele. And uh, <coughs> um, you, I put marks on it so that I know where they're supposed to be. And this here is a fret saw. You take the fret saw, you see, and you, you go on the marks and you cut down in a little way so that you can get the frets to set inside the neck so that they won't fall out. Because if you just put them on top, they'll fall. You can't glue them on. They've got to be in by slight friction of the spot. Well, I'll put one on there after I get done cutting these, you see. But you've got to be careful when you cut these because, you know, it's easy to miss. And then you've got to go to a certain depth, you see. And then, well, I've got them all right so far, but there's still two left I can mess up, so. You gotta be careful here because some of these dots don't look quite right, so we'll add in Usually about ten. Depends on if the saw seizes up in there. If it seizes up some, I usually go a couple more. But right now, you see, I got this last fret that I cut into this wood. I need to be sure that it's going to work the way I want it to. All right, well, we got that done right now. Now, I've got to get a couple more tools here, so we ought to do this. But now this, you, know, you probably don't, can't see as well as I could, because was, I was looking, cutting down, you see, and that's what you're looking at. This is a ukulele neck. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take little metal strips that fit in there called frets. I'm going to put the frets in there. You hold on just a minute. Don't you run off just because I'm not in the picture. Because just because I'm not in the picture don't mean I ain't here. Because I am. Believe it or not, I'm here. I'm doing something. I'm doing something important. So I can get these frets out. So I can do this here. So. All right. So these here. I'll show the old man gets tired just getting up and down, you know. Oh, well, we screwed that up there, didn't we? Hold on here. I thought I was doing something important here. All right, well, you get in there. So I'm not even going to explain what I was doing here because it's not important. It's what you're experiencing. But I got some of that gorilla glue on my fingers, and that ain't no good. It's good glue, but it ain't no good on your fingers, you know. You want it on your fingers, so you just can rub it off onto a dusty surface, and most of it kind of dissipates. Anyway, we got <coughs> we got a thing full of frets here. These are frets I've cut from fret wires. They come in long pieces, and I cut them to fit the neck. Then what I do is I take this fret hammer, and it's got a plastic and a nylon. The other is brass. You really gotta give her a good whack. You use the brass, but usually use the plastic. That way, you don't dent the fret cell. Tap it a couple times. And you see the frets in there, just like that. Now I'm going to do several more. Matter of fact, 17 total. And why you're still watching this is well beyond my under comprehension because I would just not have any interest in this. That's pretty good though, getting those frets in. I got what? 14 more to do here. I'm going to pound my thumb. And I'll be numbering a pounded thumb. Fortunately, it ain't the world's heaviest hammer. It's specified it's just, for, just right for this, you see, and nothing else. Now, when these frets are all in, you know, there's a little pieces of metal sticking out either side because they ain't perfect for fits. You don't. Don't cut them. If it fits, there's one. If you can't, two. Just easy to go this way. I was going to go the other way. Look, and once in a while, a fret pops right out. You see, if it does, then it's going to be a little more persuasive. I got my 12 pound hammer over there. If this one don't work, but so far it's doing all right, you see. Now, I don't know. How long 
long this is going to take. I want to make a lot of noise after this because I'm going to run a sander. I got a bench sander over there. And what I do with the bench sander, you see, is I just basically I'll take the the neck over to it. And I will sand off the metal flush with the sides of the neck. And then, you know when they cut themselves when they play this neck, you see. Not making the ukulele is. Oh, well, I'd say it's more fun than a barrel of monkeys, because... I've never had a barrel of monkeys, and I imagine that's probably kind of a... Messy operation anyway, and this ain't too bad compared to that. Anyway, we get two more frets in there. We'll have this neck fretted. And the good part will be putting on the... It's all good. That's what people always keep telling me. I'm going to change the position of this camera some so you can see what I'm doing over here now. I don't know if you can or not. This is a belt sander right here. If you can see that, then you're not blind. I'm going to turn, you know, it's going to be loud, so I ain't going to be saying much. see this or not. I don't know how close I can get, but this is what it looks like after it's been sanded. It's come flush with the neck. This is what it looks like before it's been sanded. These things, the nubs are sticking out. Someone tried to play that, they cut themselves pretty good. So, I'll send this other side. Actually, yeah, well, I think we're done here. You don't need to hear that, do you?